I just drink it now and see. The taste is not. Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020from.com. Today is going to be a sweet day. Yes, a sweet day. And it's going to be exciting as well. And why is that? Well, it's because I've got six healthy sugar substitutes that I'm going to share with you. So it promises to be sweet and exciting at the same time. Now, I will want you to wait for the sixth sugar substitute because I did a live demonstration of how that sugar substitute behaves when you take it. So uh, it promises to be exciting. You really will want to watch uh, that uh, demonstration. So uh, before we get into the sugar substitutes, uh, there are certain things that we should be looking out for in a healthy sugar substitute. These are the features, these are the standards. So let's quickly look at those before I show you the six healthy sugar substitutes that uh, you can use. So uh, here we go. So the first thing we look out for in a healthy sugar substitute is that it should be sweet, obviously. Uh, the sugar substitute should have no calories or very few calories, okay? The sugar substitute should have low or zero glycemic index, preferably. If it is zero, great. The next feature is that uh, the healthy sugar substitute should not change our gut microbiome. Next feature is that the healthy sugar substitute should not stimulate appetite after we consume it. Okay, not good. And the last but not least is that the healthy sugar substitute should not have any negative effect on our health. We're not asking for a lot really. Now, the more of these features a sugar substitute has, the better. If it's got all of them, fantastic. So now that we know what we're looking for, let's now see what sugar substitutes I've got in store for you. So healthy sugar substitute number one is ba -bam, ta -ta -dam, stevia, okay? Stevia, of course, uh, is not new and it's not news to you. A lot of you would have heard about it before. Uh, it's very popular. And, uh, you know, the stevia product is actually made from the stevia plant. And what the uh, manufacturers do is they extract the glycoside from the stevia plant. And there are two types. One is uh, steviocide and the second glycoside is uh, called stevia ribodioside. It's quite a mouthful. Um, now, it's a very nice healthy sugar substitute because it's got zero calories, uh, it's got no carbs, and the, there's hardly any glycemic response as far as uh, stevia is concerned, and it's suitable for diabetics. Now, stevia's got one little drawback, and that is the fact that uh, it may leave an aftertaste in the mouth, which some people don't find palatable, obviously. Now, uh, what I find is that that problem varies from brand to brand, and it actually depends on what glycoside was extracted and used in making the product. Uh, some of them, the aftertaste is so subtle that is almost non-existent. Uh, this one here claims to have uh, no aftertaste, okay? So it's worth trying different brands to see uh, which uh, one you prefer, okay? Uh, if aftertaste is a problem, when you try different brands, you're going to see the ones that uh, will suit you. Uh, I don't know if I've said it before, uh, it's suitable for diabetics, stevia. So that's uh, sugar substitute number one. Now, sugar substitute number two is da -da -da, xylitol. Xylitol. Now, uh, xylitol is a very nice uh, sugar substitute and uh, it's been positioned as a tooth decay prevention uh, product. That's the kind of marketing that xylitol uh, makers tend to uh, go for. But it's much more than that because it's actually a nice healthy sugar substitute. Uh, and the, the reason why it prevents uh, tooth decay is because xylitol forms a thin coat around your teeth and that prevents bacteria from sticking to your teeth uh, thereby preventing uh, tooth decay. So uh, I like it. 
is got a small amount of calories is about it's got about 2.4 calories per gram which is pretty low and the glycemic index of xylitol is also low the glycemic index is 10 which is quite acceptable so um it used to be my go-to uh, sugar substitute until i found the next one that i'm going to be talking about now and that is uh, sugar substitute number three which is da -da -da, erythritol erythritol now erythritol is made uh, by fermenting uh, glucose with yeast and it's a very nice sugar substitute i love it because um you know it's got hardly any glycemic index it's got zero calories uh, this one tells me zero calories and uh, um, also tooth friendly just like uh, xylitol now uh, the thing about erythritol is uh, we absorb it we don't have the enzymes to actually break it down so we actually excrete erythritol intact uh, and that's the reason why it's quite a nice sugar substitute it doesn't alter our gut microbiome so that's very good so uh, it's a sugar alcohol and uh, I just love it I love using erythritol okay so that's uh, sugar substitute number three and now sugar substitute number four and that's called Truvia Truvia so Truvia essentially is a blend of two products is a blend uh, of uh, erythritol and stevia so truvia is made from these two products basically uh, and um, to learn a little bit more about truvia let's head on to their website so here we are on the truvia official website and uh, here you can see videos uh, telling you about what you can do with uh, truvia and if we scroll down some more you have a statement here that says Truvia is completely sweet and is truly revolutionary. And if we scroll down some more, you have uh, uh, some display here telling you that you can use Truvia for beverages, uh, for breakfast, for desserts, and snacks. And there's a link here for more uh, recipe ideas. And uh, you scroll down some more, and uh, they tell you about how you can use Truvia for better baking and if you're the carb conscious person well Truvia is for you if you're diabetic well Truvia is something you seriously need to consider and if you scroll down some more uh, they talk about sweet love for Truvia and you have this mouth-watering uh, dishes here that uh, uh, you can uh, prepare using Truvia so basically this is uh, what Truvia can do for you as a sweetener. Healthy sugar substitute number five is monk fruit. Now, monk fruit is not really available in my neck of the woods, so hence I haven't got it here to show it to you. And uh, that seems to be a problem because it doesn't seem to be very popular. Uh, in, but in some places like Australia, uh, it looks like it's very popular there. Uh, where it is sold as a noble sweetener so um, it's a nice sweetener and uh, there is research evidence to suggest that monk fruit does not raise blood sugar when you consume it so that's good um, but I haven't really tried it to uh, give you any first-hand experience of uh, uh, how it behaves uh, when you consume it so uh, but if it's available where you live then go ahead and get it and see you know how it plays out so that's substitute number five so let's move on to substitute number six which is a fantastic one I have to say and that is ta -da -da, yacon syrup yacon syrup okay I love this uh, I've only started using it uh, a couple of months ago now, uh, yacon syrup has what we call fructo oligosaccharides. Now, when I first got this yacon syrup and I looked at the nutritional information, I thought, whoa. But here is the thing. Uh, when you see it, do not be frightened because uh, the, what is good, it's called fructo oligosaccharides, but they are not digestible. Okay, they're not digestible. 
So uh, indeed, uh, Yakon syrup is actually being marketed as a prebiotic because of the fact that uh, the fructo oligosaccharides in it are not digestible. So uh, I ran a test on how Yakon syrup affects blood sugar when you consume it. So uh, let's see how this played out. So what I want to do here is run a simple test. Essentially what I want to do is test this Yakon syrup. I want to see the effect of Yakon syrup on my blood sugar levels. It's a very simple test. It's going to be a before and after test. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check my blood sugar levels with this uh, blood sugar monitor here. And we, I'm going to have this Yakon syrup, one tablespoon full of it uh, in water. And then um, we'll come back one hour later to see what my blood sugar level is going to be. Okay, so uh, it's a very simple test. So uh, let's get on with it. So here we are. I'm just going to turn on my blood sugar monitor. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to prick myself. Ouch. And let's squeeze out some blood. Okay, got some blood now. So let's see what my blood sugar level is. So it's just going to read now. Let's see. So my blood sugar level is 3.8. Okay, 3.8. Can you see that? 3.8. That's millimole per liter. Okay, 3.8. So uh, this is the before. So what we're going to do now is add one tablespoon full of the Yakon syrup into water. There we go. So what I got in here. So this is one tablespoon full of the yakon syrup is spilling inside the water already. Okay, one tablespoon full of the yakon syrup, add it into the water. Okay, stir. We'll see what my blood sugar level is going to be one hour later. Okay, so this is it. I have no idea. I've not done this test before, so I have no idea what, what the result is going to be. So there we go. This is uh, the Yakon syrup in a water mixture. Uh, just pure water, nothing else. Uh, water plus Yakon syrup. So I just drink it now and see. The taste is not that bad actually. It's not too sweet. That's good. Yakon syrup mixture drank. What time is it now? Let's see. Uh, the time now is 3.20. Okay, 3.20. So we're going to be back at 4.20 uh, to see what my blood sugar level is going to be. Okay, so uh, that's it. I'll see you back in an hour's time. Okay. So the time now is 4.20, okay, 4.20. So this is one hour later uh, after consuming the uh, Yakon syrup mixture. So uh, uh, let's see what my blood sugar is gonna be. Uh, turn on the machine, okay. And then prick myself as usual. Squeeze out some blood. Okay, we've got blood. Apply the blood. Okay, so it's gonna read. I've not done this before, so I have no idea what the result is gonna be. So it looks like it's red. <laughs> so ta da da. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> there we go. 3.3. .3. Okay, 3.3. .3. 
honestly, I'm amazed. I am amazed. So this is millimole per liter, by the way. So uh, you're supposed to multiply by 18 to get a milligram percent. So 3.3. So from 3.8 before I had the Yacon syrup, now it's 3.3, one hour later. So, I mean, how good is that? How good is that? I'm gonna multiply for you now to see uh, what it is uh, in um, milligram percent. I'm really impressed. I am really impressed. So Yakon syrup actually reduces blood sugar. How cool is that? Let's see, let's, uh, let's get uh, the figures in milligram percent for you guys who use milligram percent because this machine gives results in minimal per liter multiplied by 18. So uh, my before I drank the Yakon syrup, 3.8 minimal per liter uh, times 18. Uh, was 68 okay 68.4 precisely 68.4 precisely uh that was before then i drank the yakon syrup and now uh we're getting 3.3 which is 3.3 times 18 there you go 59.4 okay 59.4 so from 68 before one hour later is 59 well what can I say? I don't know what to say. I'm, I mean, I'm really, really impressed. To be honest, I've not done this before, so this is my first time of testing this. And uh, what a beauty this is. <laughs> this is a beauty sweetener, seriously, uh, because it actually reduces your blood sugar levels. What can I say? Impressed. Impressed. <laughs> So that was nice, wasn't it? Now here's something else. Since I did that initial experiment, I've done the test again two more times, just to make sure that the first result I got was not a fluke. And I can confirm that I got similar results. My blood sugar was lower than the initial take. So indeed, the last one, it dropped from 4.3 to 3.9 millimole per liter. So that was good. Uh, now, there is no doubt going by those results that uh, you know yakon syrup would be very suitable sweet now for diabetics there's no doubt about that uh, from what i can see so far uh so uh in fact the next test i have in mind is to consume yakon syrup with a carbohydrate meal to see the effect so uh that's one test that i'm going to do in the next uh, couple of weeks so um yeah you know you got the, the point is this you've got options beyond table sugar and honey so uh and you can use any of these healthy uh, sugar alternatives and uh, you'll be fine okay so um i'm glad to share them with you i'm going to leave links below uh for you folks if you want to get any of them in that popular marketplace uh the links are going to be in the very first comment just for your convenience if you want to get any of them okay so um hopefully you enjoyed this video um if you did uh please give the video a thumbs up uh please like the video and also please share this video with your friends family and colleagues as usual and if you got any comments please leave them down below uh if you got any questions regarding any of these sugar alternatives uh go ahead and ask and also if you've used any of these healthy sugar alternatives uh please share your experience with us uh down below as well now before i end this video i'm going to do something that i've not done before uh, i'm going to give a shout out <laughs> Uh, a couple of girls in my hospital, they've had birthdays in the last uh, couple of days. So, uh, happy birthday to Lian, happy birthday to Eloise, happy birthday to Kelly, and uh, uh, a final shout out to Eloise's mother-in-law, who is also a retired nurse. Uh, she retired uh, about a year ago or so, and as I understand it, she's doing wonderful things in the community. So kudos to you, Debbie, uh, for doing such a wonderful job. Uh, I think that's it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.